Guess what? It's the last round of fall DIYs. Are you ready? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. Today is the day. It is the last video for fall DIYs for 2022. I've got some budget friendly, fun DIYs for you. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. I'll tell you a little more about them in a while. Now let's get crafting. For this DIY, grab yourself some sponges. You'll need two light colored sponges, preferably. It'll make your life so much easier. This two pack came from Dollar Tree. You wanna cut them down into squares. I just cut four strips and then cut those each of those strips into three and then you want to paint the sponges you can use a light brown color but I am using the color classic caramel by Apple Barrel Now we need some type of container. If you can find this metal bottle cap, that would be the primo choice, but you could grab one of the Dollar Tree Ramkins or in the fall section, they have those little mini loaf pans that could work as well. What you wanna do is grab some tan colored fabric. This roll did come from Dollar Tree. Lay your container and since I'm using the bottle cap, I'm going to set it down on top of my fabric and you wanna cut around leaving about a two and a half inch allowance above where the bottle cap edges let's help make this look like a shabby chic crust you want to start by taking your fabric and hot gluing it down just go along the edge of your container you don't need to put it all in the middle I mean you can if you want to but you don't really need to once that's all secure take the extra fold or the extra fabric and fold it over and then you're going to hot glue that down into the bottom of your container The final step to make this pie look super snazzy is to crimp the crust. So take your fabric, just work your way all the way around, kind of pinching it, putting the fabric where you want it to go, and then the crust is ready. Moving on to this step, you wanna grab your spongy apple pieces and set them inside the crust. I did not hot glue mine down. You certainly could if you want them to look a certain way inside, or if you feel like this may be picked up and tossed around, you might wanna secure those down. Once those were all inside, I was ready to work on the lattice pieces, and for that, I will be using some more of the tan fabric. I cut strips about a half an inch wide, and then I frayed the edges of the strips and began laying them out to make my lattice work. Once the lattice work was all laid down, I grabbed my hot glue gun and my scissors, trimmed extra pieces of the fabric, and I hot glued the lattice pieces to the inside of the crust edge. To give the sugar sprinkle effect on top, I took some fabric Mod Podge, put that on the fabric, and then sprinkled just some of the tan colored sand from Dollar Tree. I also mixed in some of the Dollar Tree white glitter just to give it a little extra sparkle. To finish this off, I just grabbed a cardstock tag that I had and just wrote apple pie, $5, tied some raffia ribbon and just kind of set it on top of the apple pie. What I originally wanted to do, but honestly I ran out of time with this DIY, was to take some of that spackle, the faux spackle that I loved. Well, it's not faux spackle, it's actually spackle, but what I use for the faux whipped cream, I love that stuff, and put it in an ice cream scoop, tinted a little bit, kind of a creamy, light, homemade vanilla, you know, bluebell, if you know what I'm talking about tent and then kind of make it look like a scoop of ice cream on top um, but you could do a faux whipped cream if you wanted to as well and again tag is optional but that was just one little extra touch i made and then there you go you've got yourself a calorie free apple pie
This wooden photo frame box came from the Dollar Tree Plus section, but you certainly could pick up one of these. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. I believe they also have them at Michael's or a version of this at Michael's. So you definitely could find it at a different craft store if you don't have the Plus section yet. Now you can also make this a multi-seasonal piece depending on what scrapbook paper you choose in this step. Now I am making mine fall themed. So what I'm doing is just tracing the edges of the box and cutting out some scrapbook paper that came in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I'm gluing those directly to the sides of the box. If you wanna make this multi-seasonal then pick kind of more of a neutral scrapbook paper here, something that you could definitely could use out all year long. I wanted to leave part of this box natural to tie in with the scrapbook paper I chose. So I just taped off the bottom portion of the top and then the frame that is closest to the fake glass because it's just a piece of plastic. It's not actually glass in this. I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color Fawn. Now for inside my frame, I've created this printable. It says, I am grateful for anything I use in today's video, whether it's supplies or free printables will be linked down below in the description box. So definitely check that out. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Now, when I mentioned multi-seasonal, now I'm using this obviously for Thanksgiving themed time, but if you do a neutral box, you could do something during the month of February, what says, I love you because, and then make your little coupons and write things on there. You could do it for someone's birthday month and each, you know, the week of their birthday, maybe the month of their birthday, write down things that memories you have of them or fun facts about them. If they're smaller, you know, just really, you could use it for anything. Christmas wishes, you could do all kinds of things that you would like. Now, once that was all put into the frame, then it was just a matter of filling out the little coupons. And like I said, all these will be linked down below. So each day in the month of November, you can fill one out, drop it in the box. And at the end of the month, read and remind yourself of all the things you're grateful for. Now I couldn't let a season go by without making some of my faux cookies. You might remember these Christmas cookies that I made back in Christmas in July. I will link that video down below in case you missed it. So I grabbed some of the fall cookie cutters from Dollar Tree and some Sculpey clay. I usually get mine on Amazon. Sometimes I get it at Michael's. I started with some orange clay and cut that out with the pumpkin cookie cutter. And then I also use the tan, which is usually the base of all my cookies when I do the faux cookies. And I cut out some leaves with that. Once the cookies were all cut out, I grabbed some parchment paper and I set my clay cookies down on that. I put them in the oven. It was set at 275 and I let them bake for 20 minutes and then I let them cool really, really good. While the cookies were cooling, I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I want to display these? Now, my original thought was to do this, which is nothing new, taking one of the glass plates from Dollar Tree, putting some scrapbook paper, or you could even use napkins if you wanted to, mod podging that to the bottom of the plate and going from there. So that is what I did. I picked scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I traced around the base of the plate attach it with Mod Podge. I did not attach the back side of the paper because I wasn't planning on actually using this as a plate. But if you want to make kind of a custom dinnerware set for your Thanksgiving or fall dinners, this is definitely an option that you could do. Colored glue sticks are the magic thing I'll be using for the icing. You guys know I absolutely love working with colored glue sticks. I use them especially during the Christmas time. So you guys are going to see me using them a lot. I'll link them down below. But this is what will be used for the icing. I started with the pumpkin cookies. I took one of the brown hot glue sticks and used that to kind of keep it with the fall thing. And then I used black to do some Halloween type 
inspired cookies. Now this is where my idea in my head just looks so much better than I think it turned out, but you guys are gonna have to let me know. I took two glue guns in one of them I put red hot glue and the other I put yellow and my thought was to squirt them at the same time and they would just magically swirl and create this pretty orange marbled effect it didn't quite play out that way uh in my head it did but it didn't quite work um because why I thought it would work is when you go to change glue sticks, so if I had put a red glue stick and then I pushed in yellow right after it, there's a little bit of overlap and it makes this really pretty orange color. So that's why I thought this would work. I don't think it looks terrible when I decided to go back in and add some detail and kind of, I don't know, help it along a little bit. In the end, I do like how it turned out, but my whole marbled effect might have gone a little sideways. I don't know. You guys let me know. But that was that. I just put these into a little container. I added some orange ribbon to it to finish it off. And then you've got some faux cookies ready to be displayed. Now this DIY, I hope, if nothing else, it brings a smile to your face. This is my oldest daughter who currently is 20. She was dressed as a pumpkin her first Halloween and by the picture you can tell she was just not really a fan of that. So I wanted to make just a really cute frame just to display this because I don't know, I can't look at this picture and not smile. So this is one of the frames from Dollar Tree. I grabbed some Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper stuck that um, kind of measured out where I wanted it to cut it down and stuck the picture to the scrapbook paper just using some tape from there I wanted to add a little bit of embellishment to the corner so I grabbed one of Dollar Tree's velvet pumpkins I grabbed some of their florals and greenery and I glued that down to one corner of the frame to finish it off I added a raffia bow that was left over from a different Dollar Tree project I just glued that on there and that's it like I kept it super simple I think it would be really cute if you grabbed several of these frames and then you made one for each season you could do a Christmas photo you could do an Easter photo a birthday photo it would be a great little gift if you wanted to give a new parent and let them have a frame for each of the seasons because let's be honest especially that first kid they get dressed up in all kinds of things so there you go just a cute little picture I hope this brought a smile to your face now let's take a quick minute to talk about today's sponsor factor when they reached out to me I was so excited because this time of year is so busy for me as I'm sure it is for you and this meal service is definitely a time saver what I really like about it is they come pre-portioned and they come fresh they never freeze their meals so when you get it you simply put it in your fridge and when you're ready to eat it it's as simple as either heating it up in the oven but my personal preference is to use the microwave two to three minutes in the microwave microwave and you are good to go. They have a variety of meals that you can choose from based on your preferences. So if you're doing keto or you're counting calories, definitely lots of options for you. And their smoothies are simply delicious. Now they have been kind enough to give me a code. If you want to give it a try, you can get started with Factor for up to $130 off across six boxes using my code creative130. The link will be down in the description box. If you want to give it a try and save some time and eat delicious food I highly recommend it now let's get back into the DIYs and now here are some more of my favorite fall DIYs that didn't quite make my fall compilation cut but definitely some that I absolutely love and still use for this one you want to grab some of the wooden apples from Dollar Tree trace around with some type of red scrapbook paper I have this one in my stash I traced around the apples and then I also traced around the stem to make that brown and I attached the scrapbook paper to the apples just using a glue stick. Once the apples were all finished, now I did opt to make my stem hand leaf brown in case you're wondering, but you could certainly do green on the leaf if you'd like to. I took these stickers from Dollar Tree and I painted out a C-I-D-E-R with some brown truffle paint from Waverly and I stuck those stickers, one sticker on each apple. Then I hot glued the apples together, kind of overlapping them just a little bit and I left it like this. This is a perfect little piece to set up with a hot cider bar or even just to add some apple decor mixed in with your fall decoration.
wood beads and some Dollar Tree yarn is all you need for this DIY. Now I had this wooden strand, it was on clearance and I have used it for so many different things. This garland is one that you can use and then take apart very, very easily. You wanna start with whatever color yarn that you wanna use. I'm using fall colors, orange, yellow, green, and brown. And we're gonna start by making some tassels. So I just took a piece of cardboard so that all my yarn would end up, or my tassel would be the same length. I wrapped the yarn around the cardboard about 30 times. And then I took a piece of yarn, tied it off at the top, and cut the bottom. Now, this next step, instead of finishing the tassel, all you're gonna do is take this little yarn bunch, wrap it around one of your beads, then take another piece of yarn, tie it around the base of the bead, and now you've got a tassel attached to this bead garland and that's pretty much it. You can put as many tassels as you want. You can space them out. You can do a few, you can do all one color. So many different options, but an easy way to use this bead garland, take the tassels off, use it for something else. And then, I don't know, put the tassels back on. This is a simple but really cute DIY. Grab some of these Harvest DIY pins. You want the, or not the apple pie, but you want the pies. You wanna mark where that cherry is with the pencil and then cut that off. I'm just using my hobby knife to get that cut off. So essentially you're left with just a pie shape. From there, I painted the bottom portion of all the pies with some white. And then I painted the tops on one of them orange, one of them brown, and one of them tan. I used my Cricut to cut out three words. You could use stickers or you could just hand write this. I did pumpkin, pecan, and apple. And now I've made these really cute pie labels that you could use for your own entertaining or perhaps if you're taking some type of gift to a hostess, you could add these in as a hostess gift. That would be a great little option. One more simple but pretty garland, here we go. You need to grab some of these burlap leaves from Dollar Tree. You could grab any color combination you want. I decided to use red and tan. You'll need a total of seven leaves. Now I'm using the word harvest and I decided to use iron on vinyl onto my leaves, but you certainly could do stickers or I think it would look really nice if you stenciled on with some paint and kind of left it with a little bit distressed. I think that would look really nice as well. Once I got all my letters attached, I grabbed some of the wooden acorns and I painted the top of the acorns with brown paint. I opted to leave the bottom portion of it a natural color. Now to get these attached, I had some of these little alligator clips. These are left over from Dollar Tree pumpkins and I hot glued those to the acorns. And what I found was then all I had to do was clip the acorn to the leaf and clip that to twine and it held it all nice and perfectly for me. And that's it. This one is done so easy to do, but I think it looks really, really nice. And there you have it, the final fall DIY video for the 2022 year. I am so excited to roll into Christmas. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite. Also let me know what are you hoping that you'll see come across in my Christmas DIYs? What themes are you hoping will pop up? You guys, I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.